All right, guys, we're back at Mod Pizza. If you watch the channel, you saw my my ranch tsunami, ranch pizza, whatever you want to call it. I ordered a pizza from here first time, and there were finishing sauce options. I assumed, like, in most of the pictures, it was a swirl or whatever you put on there. I like a little ranch on my pizza, depending on the pizza. Thought that would be good. I opened it up. Well, see the video. It was a lake of ranch. I didn't fully embrace the fact at first that there was absolutely no way that's how it was supposed to come. So I powered through it. You saw me eat about half of it in the video. I finished the rest after. I tried to wipe off some of the ranch. It was still kind of good, but I felt sick the rest of the day. That was awful. So I filled out the form. I was like, this was bad. Look at this. They have you put a picture on like, th this was awful. I would never recommend this to a friend. Like, why would you want the employee that made that pizza to ever make me any kind of food again? Like, who passes that? I don't know. Point is, their national feedback thing sent me a coupon for free pizza. And said, so, you know, they're copy-paste. Oh, you know, sorry, we didn't live up to your standards, blah, blah, blah. I was hoping to hear back from the actual location, but whatever. Point is, I got another pizza. I, same thing almost. It's Asiago mozzarella parmesan cheese and red sauce and I got fresh basil on there. Sounds pretty good. No other toppings. No finishing sauce. Interesting point about the finishing sauce. Stay tuned. Let's, let's pop this open and check it out. I haven't looked yet. I'm sure it looks fine because I didn't get a finishing sauce. Looks like we're kind of in the dark here, but that looks good. I don't know why the center of it has kind of imploded on itself, but let's get our selfie with it, right? I'm excited this time. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. So I said, interesting thing about the finishing sauce, because and I don't believe that this is my doing. That would be absurd, but I don't know. There's no longer a ranch finishing sauce option. It's gone. It's only been... One, two, three, four, four days. Only been four days. And you can no longer get ranch as a finishing sauce. Interesting. This looks good. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Very tasty. Very similar to when I make pizza. I, it's got basil and I put oregano on there too. It's what I do. And those are the cheeses I use. Cheese pulls aren't cool when I do them. They don't work out. <laughs> um, now the crust is good. I mean, y'all like hearing me criticize, right? It's a very thin crust. It's good texture. It tastes fine. Nothing special to it, but that's where all the other stuff comes in. You're getting a ton of flavor from that. I can tell you, adding that basil and the oregano makes a world of difference. Even if you're making your own pizzas. Even if it's not fresh basil, just do it. It's, it's good. Yeah, sauce is good. This is good. It's not a bad value either. It's an 11 inch mod size pizza. I think it cost me, well, it didn't cost me anything, but it would have been $8.77. And that's the make your own. You can add as many, well, to some degree, I think you can add as many toppings as you want. I saw the number eight thrown around somewhere. I don't know, you can pick your sauce, you can pick your toppings, your veggies, your meats, everything. Um, pretty cool place. So I'm a fan again. It's, and it's not a bad deal. And they got drinks in there. They got sides. They no longer have ranch. At least not on the online option. And I thought, what if they blocked my account from ordering ranch? So I opened up a private browser and I no, no more ranch finishing sauce. They do, they've got buffalo. There's a hot honey. I think that would be good with like a chicken pizza. And they've got, yeah, I learned this is a chain. It's all over the place. So you might have one near you. Um, they're still growing, I guess. They, uh, they've got some pre-made like 
different options you can pick if you don't want to get creative and make your own. Very tasty. Mod Pizza. You can order online, it's a 15 minute wait, so order it, drive there, pick it up, or eat, you know. You got curbside, they got seating inside. Good stuff. If anyone from Mod Pizza saw this or whatever, apparently they didn't, because nobody actually reached out to me. I, I mean, they don't need to. I've seen other people complain that places don't reach out to them. I don't, I don't think I'm anywhere near a level of people should reach out to me. Don't. I'm not on that kind of high horse. Um, but I have been reached out to before, over much less than the ranch pie. That thing was disgusting. I'm mad at myself for not recognizing how wrong that was immediately and bringing it in. Um, do I think they've wrong, righted their wrong? No, because I never got an actual apology from the store. But you know what? Who gets that? Whoever gets that from any of these places that screw up their stuff? Nobody, ever. It happens all the time to everyone. So I'm not special. I don't deserve that. Well, maybe I do, but I'm not getting it. So it's all good. I'm a fan again of Mod Pizza. You should try it out if you're nearby one. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is better than the uh, Jack in the Box I was going to go get. Just to watch this fun fact, I thought, because I'm buddies with a YouTuber up here, and she can't get Jack in the Box. So when I moved from North, South to North Carolina, I thought I'm never going to have to get Jack in the Box again. I said in my last Jack in the Box video, like, Ah, oh, yep, this this might be my last Jack in the Box video ever. Turns out she can't get it. Unfortunately, I can. We've got like four or five different locations, all with dirt poor reviews because every Jack in the Box has run horribly. I don't know how they stay in business. I do not understand Jack in the Box. I know some of you guys like it. Um, some of my favorite subscribers love Jack in the Box, and hey, to each their own. Um, I don't love it. I don't get it. It's not good. And they've got this garbage chicken sandwich. It's not garbage, but it's very mediocre. You know, it's not hand-breaded in store. Like, even Burger King, you know, that chicken I hate. Even that's hand-breaded in store. Jack in the Box ain't doing that. So they, they've got the sandwich out, the cluck sandwich. And now there's a new blazing sauce on it. Normally, I wouldn't go try that kind of thing. That's really boring. But I'm starving for content here. There's nothing new in the fast food world. So, you might see me try the blazing cluck sandwich sometime this week. I don't know. We'll see. It gets dark early. I just, I just go home. I just, I just hang out, play video games, watch anime. This is what I've become. Speaking of anime, I was just at the outlets. There was a fancy Lexus. I thought, that's a cool Lexus. I'm going to park near it. But what I didn't notice until I was walking back behind it, they had anime stickers all over the bumper and windows. And the license plate was a custom plate. And it was O Senpai with the I as the number one. That's a level of, of wee ball. Never hit, I hope. If I do, stop me, guys. Just don't let it happen. But I wanted to see who drove it. I didn't get to see him. I had to come get my pizza. Anyways, I'm going to go back and... Yeah, I'm probably going to watch JoJo and eat my pizza. So, yay. Thanks for watching, guys. Especially if you stuck around through all that. Y'all are the true fans. <laughs> Love y'all, mostly. Not the one guy. He knows who he is. Get the hell out of here. I'm probably just going to block your comments. You're so weird. Um, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Hit that like button if you like the video. All the good stuff I usually say. I really appreciate it. All that helps the channel. Helps me. Helps me help you. Help me. Bye.